Hey you guys! So today we are looking at this which is R5P8 from um, Galaxy's Edge. I I didn't buy these when I was there all those years ago. Um, picked this up, where did I get this? I picked it up over here in the UK, it was on special offer and I was like oh I kind of want one because it is, as it says here, R5P8 is Hando Anaka's most capable astromech and service as an automated repair mechanic on Hondo's many starships. This sassy droid calls Hondo out on occasion, always keeping the pirate on his toes. And I just, it stands next to him. If you go on the ride, Smuggler's Run ride, it stood right next to Hondo. So I kind of wanted it to go with him. I don't think it's in any of the animated movies or anything. But I just, it's an astromech droid, I kind of liked it. So, uh, yeah, that was the reaction on the back. It's got the moons down the side there. Galaxy's Edge Outpost, trading post down the side. Yes. And I don't know what I did with, oh, there they are. I did not know what I'd done oh, with the scissors. All right, so we're gonna open it down here. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, so Star Wars, big thing in my life. I went, oh, all those years ago to Galaxy's Edge. I uh, got COVID while I was there, and yes, it wasn't a lot of fun. But I had fun in Galaxy's Edge right up to the point where I was sick as a dog. But anyway, I did put a shot on the other day. It's, it's like one of the only decent bits of footage. I did get to go to Galaxy's Edge before I actually started feeling that bad. I, we went to... Um, uh, what's its name? Universal Studios. The day I was actually properly ill. All right, cool. So that winds down like zero, and then I guess we tilt. Hmm. Excellent. Right. You need to tilt the camera. Pivot. So he has a little antenna on the top of his head. As you can see. Rather a dirty look to his face. I like the little teeth drawn on there. Uh, the usual, it's the usual astromech droid in the middle, which yes is probably the wrong scale. We've known that for a while, but there is a new R2 coming out, so it would be nice if they redid this as well. But it'll stand on the shelf and it'll look cool next to Hondo. Uh, we have all the little wheels there on the bottom and general dirt and things on the back. It is kind of weird that like moving the head, you can kind of do that. It doesn't move that wheel so much, but obviously wind it all the way around there and flatten it and the wheel is in. Yeah, It's kind of nice to have put plenty of detail in there and I like the dirt. It does look like dirt rather than just looking like somebody slapped paint on it. There's a little antenna there. Yeah. See, why not wheel down again? Because I kind of like him. Like he's ready for business. Yeah. So, uh, what do I do with him? There he is. And we have the Hondo to go with him. I got this obviously from the Galaxy's Edge set. It was the reason I bought the set that I did. You did get Ray with it and Ray and Chewbacca. And I was like, I don't really need Ray or Chewbacca. I just want Hondo. So yeah, because I'd already got Ray and Chewbacca. But, oops, man down. That's the Predator shelf again. Go watch the shot. The Predator shelf is misbehaving severely at the minute. And we are going to have words when I finish this video. Yes. Right. So that is the logo. Oh, we did also have... There is a, a regular... My regular R2. I've held off for a long time hold, buying an R2 because they were the wrong... I know they're the wrong scale. They just don't look right. So... But that one was cheap at Smith's. Do they stand? Do they have the... Oh, he does. Oh, good. He does have little, the little doors that open up. Yeah. One on both sides. Yep. Which has the little, little hooks and things in there. Hmm. It's a nice little figure, I have to say. A very nice little figure. It is exactly the same, obviously, body-wise. It's just a different head. I guess while they had the dirt out to paint these, they painted these as well. But yeah, that is going to be a nice little display. We also have uh, DJ Rex, 
which I can't remember. I think he was in the was he in the same set as him, or did I buy him separate? I think I bought him separately. I don't think he was in that set. Hmm. Things that make you go hmm. So yeah, that is a Star Wars review. I am a huge Star Wars fan, and I always find it a bit of a shame that my Star Wars reviews and things like that don't get the views that I wish they did. But um, the only thing that can help with that is you guys. So please, please, please go back and watch some of the older um, Star Wars videos of the action figures, because like I say, it helps. And it is the reason that I, I love action figures, because I was around for the Star Wars figures back in the day. Oh yes. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Just a little short one. So I hope you all have a great day. I hope you all have a great night. And well, we'll see you all in the next video. Bye now.